Fistful of Karambits, it's Hawaii Volcano Squad. Fistful of Karambits video, and what you're looking at is uh, three fox karambits and a uh, cut re corner knockoff. Uh, one fox folder, uh, a fox fixed blade, uh, which you can see is a little bit larger and heavier. Uh, and uh, then the uh, right above that is the uh, 13 14 dollar cutlery corner uh, Chinese karambit knockoff there and uh, the fox trainer and I uh, had that that leather sheath on the top there made uh, just got it drove over to Pahoa uh, this weekend and uh, I had a leather worker work on it and it's a reverse grip thank the lord and uh, the kydex one on the underneath that is uh, the one that came with it so I'm gonna do a quick review on all of these things uh, all these fistful of here and uh, try and illuminate uh, the differences uh, they're all they're all very good knives alright uh, so Let's cut this part and move on to the next part. Hey guys, so here's the uh, leather sheath I had made for it. It's reverse reverse grip. And uh, actually a couple of the, it's, the tension point is at the bottom of the belt uh, here. And so a couple of these stitches are starting to come loose. So I'm going to have to have Wolf uh, restitch that. But otherwise it's a pretty damn good sheath uh, for reverse grip. And see it comes out and there you go now what I like about this one after some practice is it's a really nice full tang heavy blade it's a little bigger than the uh, folder and uh, it just basically rocks if you want to have a grip uh, you know reverse grip and a karambit it's hard to beat the fixed blade one you know it does give you some sheath issues like uh, having a reverse grip made because it doesn't come with one on the knife corners and that adds to your cost and plus the knife is more expensive than the folder uh, and uh, it's just a great knife though I mean for me I love uh, this fixed blade the best still dealing with the uh, sheath issues um, the kydex is good for practicing and uh, because you can keep it on there and do your moves uh, and it's it's heavier which is kind of okay it, it's kind of like a perfect weight for a fighting weapon if you ask me but um, it's really hard to beat this fixed blade karambit alright so here's the fox folder it's pretty awesome knife um, it has very tight tolerances I did uh, take off the uh, clip and file it back down uh, as Lad on the Ultimate Knife uh, recommended. He says it's optional, but I think it's not. It's hard to... This G10 is a very aggressive material here, as I'm sure you all know who've done any... I mean, you're, it just grips anything, and if you got to slide that uh, on your pocket and your clothes, it can be a kind of... It'll like bunch up your cloth, you know, and it'll kind of push and forward in the front of the clip here and not want to go in. So it helps if it's just smooth underneath there for drawing it and for getting it into position on your uh, clothes. And it's got the Emerson Wave. Uh, it's patented. Let's see if you can see the Emerson patent number. No, it's not going to focus on it. But anyway, it's definitely uh, they pay in the royalties for the patent. And now the thing is that this is the tightest tolerance folder I've ever seen. Um, and just to demonstrate, if you just push this, you know, nothing's going to happen much. You know, so with this, if you if you if you use the wave to deploy it, then it's not too much of a problem. You know, if you have a tight pocket, you know, um, uh, if you if you're wearing really loose cargo pants, you know, even if you turn it, you might have a problem getting a guaranteed deployment. But on regular pants uh, or reg regular cargo pants that are tight or just jeans especially it's no problem out of the place but if you need to deploy it in a flipped way I mean you have to be really aggressive with the forward and back movement 
to get it to open like that. And notice that loud click that you heard. Um, if you look right on the inside of this, you probably won't be able to see it. But there's like a little, unlike any other, well, I have not, unlike any other karambit that I've seen, the inside of the liner lock goes into a notch. It sits in a notch. That's why there's such a loud click when you deploy it. So it's going to make a loud click. And um, the tight tolerance on this one, I mean, there's no give. It's not loose. I mean, I oiled this thing very completely, too. And um, again, if you just hit it, nothing's going to happen if you just hit this thing. You've got to, and if you just give it a little flick, it's still not going to flick. If you give it a real aggressive forward and back at the same time and hit the button, it deploys. You know, and that's really not the way you want to deploy it. You want to use the Emerson Wave. So this is an Emerson Wave. So really, which one of these knives you like depends on how you dress, how you're carrying. You know, um, uh, but this again, the main thing I want to stress is very tight tolerances on this knife. Um, and I like it. It's lighter than the full tang, obviously. It's not full tang. You can see it through there, right? Uh, and, uh, but, you know, it's basically just a slightly smaller blade than the full tang, than the full tang fox that I showed you right before this. And, um, it's just a, it's a very good knife to carry. Uh, and, uh, especially for wearing jeans, this is perfect. You know, deploys really quick. Uh, cargo pants, they have to be, your material, if your material is just loose and worn out, you might have a problem with the wave, but other than that, it should deploy, you know, with the right amount of practice, you turn it out, pull it up. Okay, here's a Fox um, trainer. Um, obviously dull on both sides. Uh, of course, you could still mess somebody up with this if you hit them. I mean, you know. That's the whole thing about uh, these karambits and practicing, like with that, uh, uh, some of the techniques that are on the internet, like the Filipino educator, uh, his website, um, well, that Wally Kali practitioner, Dennis. It's really nice of him. He's, he's posting a lot of great videos on how to train uh, and um, in more than just nice. But, uh, you know, you could hurt somebody with this too, even though it's not sharp. Uh, and the tol tolerances are a lot looser. Um, it still doesn't deploy quite, you know, but you can barely have to flick it much. You do have to flick it, but you don't have to be as aggressive as with the actual tight tolerances of the box around it. So, um, and of course, it's great for practicing. And the G10, it's not that super aggressive. This yeah, orange material here, it's not as aggressive uh, at all. So um, you don't really have to file it down, and uh, it's, since it's not the fighting knife, although you could pretty, like I said, you could fight with the strainer pretty good, you know, um, uh, you know, depending on how confident you are with your other abilities that you don't need to pull out a sharp knife, but that it's a great trainer to practice with. All right, so here is the really cheap Chinese knockoff from Cutlery Corner, and it's, you know, I hate to say that it's really cheap, but, you know, I mean, <laughs> because it's so damn good. Let me show you. This has a lot looser tolerances. So let me show you. I mean, this thing, it wiggles a little. You know, and I, you have to, you have to um, tighten these screws occasionally uh, to, um, to get and this it'll over time come loose which you, I have never had that problem with the Fox but um, you know like I said very a lot looser tolerances but this does have the speed safe action so you don't even have to flick it you know you just press the button thing and it deploys and it's not a spring loader it's not spring loaded it's a speed safe action you press it it deploys so this blade is thicker and heavier than the Fox Obviously, it's not the cobalt uh, alloy steel, uh, but um, and it's not. Uh, it's black, painted black, not um, finished with. What was it? What was, I, what was it? Uh, oh, God, my my mind is going. It'll come to me. I'll put it in the notes. Uh, Teflon, right? That's it. Teflon. It's not Teflon coated like the Fox blades. It's just black paint, but. Uh, 
you know. I actually was got some poke at, when I was down to pick up the sheath at Pahoa, and, and you know, this can be used for sticking the thing in a container of poke and eating, because that's what I was doing with it uh, at the beach uh, after I picked up the uh, blade, but uh, <laughs> picked up the sheath uh, at Pahoa, but uh, hey, so, uh, and obviously it's got this dual thing, it's not as smooth as the, alum as the aluminum ring on the Fox knives either. But it works, and to be honest with you, for 13 or 14 bucks, it, it's got some advantages. You know, it's got a, it's got a heavier blade, right? Opens really quick. You don't have to worry about deployment. But you know, and, and it's a heavier blade, which is there's an advantage to that. And the really good thing about this is. Um, well, the one bad thing is that with the tighter tolerances, I would feel, and because it's a little looser, I would feel a little nervous about doing too many trapping moves with this when you use the back side of the blade very hard, because I might be afraid that the liner lock would be more likely to fail. It doesn't have, it doesn't, the liner lock, let's see if I can line this up for you, it just sits kind of in the center, like it should, you know, but it's not like sitting in a notch, like in a fox blade, so it's going to have looser tolerances. You know, and uh, I would be more worried using trapping movements with the back side of the blade that the liner lock might fail. Nevertheless, for 14 bucks or whatever it is on the cutlycorner.net, hopefully it's still on there. Um, and there, I've seen some versions on a few other websites of this, but it looks like the same company that built the same blade. Uh, that, um, you know, with a different name or whatever, but uh, if you look around, you can find something like this. And uh, it slightly slightly heavier blade. It's thicker at the spine where the jimping is. It's a lot thicker. It's not as thin, um, but it's heavier. So again, if you don't mind the looser tolerances, uh, it's not a, because of because of the speed safe action. The deployment is a snap. You know, so all of these are pretty damn good blades, you know. And obviously the foxes cost a lot more than the uh, uh, cheap Chinese knockoff. But uh, whichever way you go, you can't go wrong. I prefer the fixed blade, even with all the, uh, you know, if I'm carrying it, the fixed blade, um, sometimes I'll just use the Kydex with no, and just in, a, in my pocket, you know, and because I can put my hand in there, nobody will know it's there, and it's just in my pocket and uh, in that Kydex right here. I think, sorry about bumping the mic stand, but uh, you just stick it in here. Um, and pull it out if it's in your pocket and nobody will know you have it. Somebody's beating their dog. <laughs> anyway, uh, so uh, this isn't a reverse grip though and it's kind of, it sounds like a Glock when you pull pull it, put the, it sounds like you're pulling a Glock when you put the uh, fixed blade in and out of here. But, um, so this has my, been my fix, fistful of Karambas video. Uh, See if there's anything else I need to show you. Probably not. Here's the deployment of the Fox uh, folder. It's deployed. Nice click though. It lets everybody and their brother in the neighborhood know that you just build something. <laughs> but then again, it's fast and it deploys really fast. So, what more do you want? This has been the. Uh, Hawaii Volcano Squad, fistful of dollar, fistful of not dollars, fistful of karambits uh, video. Hawaii Volcano Squad out.